Well, I haven't been doing my Sunday reflection blog lately. Uh, well, it's just been busy and I've been making excuses. But I wanted to do a quick blog today. It's Monday and I skipped last week altogether. But I just kind of wanted to do a quick video on intention and the words we use and the energy behind those words. Because I think that's a really important thing. I think a lot of people kind of look at it as, oh, that's silly. I mean, you know what I mean. Not, you know, not what I say, but what I mean. And the reality is that when you say things like, I need this, or I want that, or you know, you're, you're kind of thinking about, oh, I gotta, I, I've got to go to work tomorrow. Uh, you know, I, I really need a new car, those kinds of things. You really want to be careful because the energy Pay attention is the best thing I could say. Pay attention to the energy behind things when you say them. Like if you say, I, man, I gotta go to Toastmasters tomorrow. I've got my Toastmaster meeting. It's at 6.30 in the morning, every Monday morning. That's where I'm at. And there are nights on Sunday night where I've gotta get to bed and I'm thinking, oh, I gotta go to Toastmasters tomorrow. But when I shift that thinking, when I pay attention to that energy, it's like, well, that makes it sound like something I don't wanna do, but it is something I wanna do. There is a thought behind why I go and, and I, I do actually enjoy it but I have to prepare for it and there are tasks and things involved in going. So sometimes it feels a little bit overwhelming with all the stuff you've got on your calendar. But when I say I'm ready to go or I, I get to go to Toastmasters tomorrow, just notice the energy difference when you try to say something like that. Instead of saying I gotta say, I, you know, I get to. And just see how that feels and experiment with this. Try different words, try different things, but the energy behind what you say really does affect you. And the way that this plays out is when you're working on long-term goals and you've got your, your brain, you've got your mindset, you've got yourself set up, your brain is programmed by the words that we use. And of course, depending on what language you're at, different words are gonna have different meanings. Depending on what area of the country you're from, the different words are gonna have different meanings. But it's about the feeling or the energy or the intention behind the words. When you're saying I need, you're coming from a place of lack. When you're, when you're saying, you know, I have to, you're, you're coming from a place of being forced to, that you, you don't have free will in that particular choice. And notice the energy behind those words and try to shift them to things that feel a little bit more empowering. Because when you come from that place of power, it really does make a difference and it helps program your brain to set you up for all the things that you are going to do to, to build the bridge from where you are today to where you want to be, whatever your, your future goals are. So pay attention to the words you use. Have a great week, everybody. And I'm not sure what day I'm going to be doing them, but I will start doing my weekly reflection blogs again and, and posting this on a regular basis. And if you look below this video, I will let you know when that'll be. So have a great week.